Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited for this video because we are having a self-care weekend, if you will, but with a little bit of a twist. This is not just the self-care where it's all about pampering and doing a lot of things for me, which there is gonna be some of that too, but I really wanna have a balanced weekend of nourishing my soul in terms of friendships, in terms of taking care of our home, in terms of taking care of myself and my body, and I just want it to be a well-rounded weekend. I've been feeling a little bit out of balance lately and just a little bit anxious, and so I'm excited to take you guys along this weekend of all the different ways I'm trying to nourish my soul in a period of life that can often be busy especially around this time of year so i hope it just kind of inspires you to slow down i'm starting this on friday and what actually inspired this was the fact that i did not sleep great last night i just had a lot on my mind i feel like i've been kind of worrying more than usual lately and was just tossing and turning and didn't really get quality rest. So I ended up sleeping in this morning, didn't work out, took it slow. And I actually read something from my favorite, probably my favorite passage from the Bible that I wanted to share with you guys because it's also kind of the inspiration for this video. This is from Philippians 4 and it says, finally brothers, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is commendable, if there's any excellence, if there's anything worthy of praise, think about these things. That is my favorite verse of all time because I think so much of the Bible and just kind of religion in general is so nuanced and complicated and I think that there's definitely a time and place for that. I think life has a lot of nuance but the simplicity of those words of focusing on what is true, what is noble, which isn't always flowery and positive, you know, truth can sometimes feel like a little stinging to us because it's a little bit more intense, it's a little feisty but to be able just to focus on those things, for me that's what really nourishing my soul is all about and so that is the goal of this weekend. We have a lot planned. And I've broken this up into days. So Friday is going to be the day of taking care of our house, getting our house in order. I really believe that when things are in order around here, I can focus on other things better. So we're going to do a lot of tasks around the house. It's also going to be a very stormy day. We're supposed to get some pretty intense storms. So I just figured it would be nice to lay low and be around the house today. Tomorrow I'm spending some time with my sisters. We're going to do like a little sisters fall night. So that's going to be fun. And then Sunday I'm going to focus on nourishing my body, doing some self-care things, having a little pan per day. I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoy this vlog and I hope it is uplifting to you guys as always. I just finished up my work. I always like to do that before the start of the weekend, just to go into the weekend with nothing kind of looming over my head. So it feels good having that done. And now the stuff that I want to do around the house, for one, I want to remove all of the garden soil and my dead plants. This is something that I've just accepted defeat. They are very withered from when we travel. I don't normally have someone water our plants while we're gone because we usually take cash to my parents. And so I think I'm just gonna wait till spring when the traveling is a little bit more quiet to start it back up again. So we'll do that. Fold some laundry. I wanna take down all of our fall stuff. There's not too much, but I wanna kind of remove everything, box it away. I wanna organize a couple places that I didn't get to when I did my decluttering video. So our closet that holds our washer, I wanna do that. And also our shelves over there, I wanna go through there and kind of organize Organize that a bit and I also saw a quote I wanted to read kind of on the topic of household chores I know there's been a lot of quotes recently but I feel like my Instagram discovery page has just been so good lately it says doing the laundry and the dishes and meal preparation are not tasks of the mundane because being clothed and clean and fed declares the dignity of human life and nurtures us into new days into new eras they are not mundane no they are rituals of care I just love that. I definitely find a lot of joy in just taking care of our home and doing just very mundane tasks. And it kind of romanticizes those things. It turns these things into less of, oh, I have to fold the laundry. Oh, I have to declutter this. I have to do this. And uh, no, I get the privilege of doing this and gives you a better mindset. So. It's hard to see you when your eyes look dull. Who's gonna save you? gonna make you not blue. not blue 
just emptied my planner. I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum outside too. I'm really excited though because Aiden's actually in the office today, but I guess they're sending everyone home early because they're anticipating the storms getting bad. So, not thrilled about the storms, but am thrilled about him coming home. It's always a nice surprise. That is now done and so we are going to move on to taking down the fall stuff i also have a blanket that i'm storing my little fall one that i love but i want to keep it a fall thing so i'm going to wash that and then get everything stored much finished putting up all of the autumn decor stuff right here we also have this stuff to put away too but after that I'm just gonna go ahead and do our bookshelf now organize that It's obviously a lot later now. We just caught the most beautiful sunset. It has been storming on and off basically all day. And so the colors tonight were so pretty. I tried to get a couple of clips, but so nice. And we are just having a very chill Friday night tonight. Aiden and I are just going to order some food. He's at the gym right now. I'm gonna watch a movie and hang out. I feel like we've been doing more chill Friday nights lately. And honestly, it's kind of the move. So I'm gonna take a shower, take off this makeup and chill for the rest of the night. Saturday I am actually about to go get a workout in which I typically don't work out on Saturdays unless Aiden and I do an F45 class but because I didn't work out yesterday I feel like I just have a lot more energy than normal so I'm gonna go get a run in and then maybe do some abs too it's actually chilly outside all those storms yesterday brought in such a nice cold front and it is so nice outside can't wait to have an actual fall Saturday It is an absolutely gorgeous day outside, so we are gonna go for a really long walk, Aiden and I. And I kind of bundled up, because it's chilly. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing. This kind of Sherpa jacket is from Cuts. I do have a code with Cuts, and this is amazing. It's like the perfect amount of warmth if it's around 50 or 60 degrees. I just think it's so cute, too. And I like it because it doesn't have the Sherpa inside, so it's not too warm, but just warm enough. And then I also have a Cuts tee on underneath. And then these kind of wide leg tan leggings are actually from Target. And then I'm just wearing my Converse.
so, so beautiful out. It's like the best weather today. And we also stopped by this place called Bird Bakery. It's over in Highland Park Village. And tonight I was actually gonna make cookies to bring, but I saw these and they were so cute. They reminded me a lot of the Baked by Melissa cupcakes, which I don't think they have here. I don't know if they deliver. It's just the cutest little spread. I love that they put this in an egg carton too of a bunch of different cupcakes and such. If you're in the Dallas area, I love Bird Bakery. They have just the best sweets. They also have coffee. And then they also have lunch stuff too. You can eat there. I'm running into Target right now because tonight with my sisters, I'm so excited. We're doing this thing where we're each bringing our favorite fall item. And I had gotten them all these super cute little fall candles from Anthropology. I want to get some just nice wrapping stuff to wrap them up. So I'm going to grab that. But I also wanted to say that I have had such a nice slow Saturday. And I wanted to put this in here because... I feel like my inclination when I have a free weekend is just to pack things, do a lot of stuff, whether that be productive stuff for work or just seeing a bunch of different people, having a lot of things lined up, going and doing things. And it's nice to do that stuff every now and then, but it was so sweet just getting to go for a two hour walk with Aiden. Last minute decided to go to a little bakery, run a couple errands and not have this agenda. And this is so anti my nature. I feel like I'm such a, like to have a plan i like to you know be efficient with my time but it's so sweet just to get to slow down and we were also supposed to have another trip in november but we ended up just saying no to that because i am really trying to slow down especially as i'm trying to just be easier on my body in terms of health stuff it has been a game changer and also a game changer has been cutting out afternoon coffee that's another thing i've been doing for the past couple of months or so and that has really helped not give me like this jittery sense of having to do stuff all the time but kind of relinquishing control enjoying the day and it's been really good for me so i just wanted to put that in here i'm really really thankful and grateful for just free time leisure time and a beautiful beautiful day i know i've said it a lot but it is stunning outside back now from target i'll show you guys the candles that i got them anthropology was having a sale so i got this one is the i think it's pumpkin spice pumpkin clove i have this one in our bathroom though it smells so good and i'm gonna go ahead and wrap them and i also got these super cute cards they are from amazon i actually got these for my giveaway prizes but vintage little cards they almost look like not almost they are basically supposed to look like postcards but i've just been using these as like thank you cards and stuff super cute though i think this was ten dollars for this pack so i'm gonna put a little card on each of them too I just got to Jamie's apartment. She actually recently moved in here. I helped her move in a couple, no, probably a month ago, but I haven't been since, so I'm excited to see it. That you love in the fall season. This okay. Is a picture. But I'm doing <laughs> this is getting so specific. A little, like, little one thing I'm thankful for, for y'all. Oh, Lindsay. Rusty red on her shoulder. I was cleaning her shoe When it clicked on the trot over In the bright morning dew We brushed and we braided Dandelions and chewed Good morning, I obviously just woke up Still very tired It is 7.30 but daylight savings was last night And so it's so weird it's so bright outside i'm not looking forward to this evening i like most people do not love when it gets dark super early i'll say it's nice having the brighter mornings last night was so much fun with my sisters we just talked all night we got there at six and then everyone left i think around 10 so we were there for so long just catching up and chatting and it was really sweet i really love my sisters it was my two sisters and then my sister-in-law Lindsay, and so we just had such a good time and it was so nice to see jamie's apartment i feel like it's really coming together and it's just so cozy and cute so it was a good time but i am about to take cash for a little walk start getting ready for church we're gonna go to early service today and 
that is another big part of every single Sunday for me is just going to our local church, which is always uplifting and helps me be encouraged for the week. And then it's just always nice to be around other people who share the same faith as you too. So that is definitely a big part of kind of my Sunday self-care weekend, if you will. Lindsay actually rented out a studio to do headshots for my dad. And we're gonna go ahead and get our Christmas card photo taken there while she has it rented. And we're gonna bring cash too, which might be a little crazy, but we're gonna have our little family photo taken. So that'll be later this evening, but I need to go ahead and walk this guy. So let's go. Also came home to some beautiful flowers from Aiden, which was such a nice surprise. I feel like I haven't had flowers in here for a bit. And these are just so beautiful. I just got ready for church and I had to share this skirt. I share this in my newly try on haul. It is my favorite skirt because this top is like the perfect kind of cropped length for it. But I feel like a ballerina when I wear this. It's just so flattering and I love the pattern. I think it's so fun. I just had to share that. And then my boots that I'm wearing, these are from Lulu's and I feel like they are perfect with this as well too. They kind of make it a little bit more fall since it's not too chilly out today. And then my top that I'm wearing is from Brady Melville, just pretty simple. We are back from church. It was so good and it was so nice because we actually got to take communion today, which is always such a good reminder where we placed our trust and our hope in God. And so it was a great sermon. I wanted to share the stuff that I got last night for my sisters for all of our favorite fall items. I put the first thing over in the bathroom, but my sister Lindsay got us blue nail polish because she's really been obsessed with blue lately. And we think it's because she's actually having a boy. My sister Lindsay, she has two girls right now, but they are due for another baby boy in February. So she's like, I feel like it's subconsciously because of that, but that is over in our bathroom. And then from my other sister, Lindsay, she got us all heated blankets. This was her favorite thing. And this one is so nice. I think she got this one from Target, but it's this really pretty plaid color, which I think will also be nice for Christmas too. So that was sweet. And then Jamie is so funny. She loves the medicine ball tea from Starbucks, which I do too, but she loves this tea that she makes it from home. And so she put together this super cute kit of the teas and then these honey sticks. And then also she printed out the recipe too. So that was just so nice and so thoughtful. Such a good idea if you're doing something, I think even for like a Christmas party to be fun to do that. Everyone bring their favorite Christmas item. But I'm actually gonna go read for the rest of the afternoon until we go take those photos. I'm just gonna chill for a little bit. I usually would grocery shop today because we are running low on groceries, but we do have our every plate and tomorrow night we're actually going to a fun dinner with a restaurant that I'm really excited about. They invited us to have dinner, which was so sweet. So I don't really need to get groceries, so I'm just not going to. I'm gonna chill, enjoy our Sunday and kind of soak in the Sabbath day. Thank you. Welcome. Nice. Cool beans. Yeah. Good thing to have. It's perfect. Nice. Thanks. Where do you want me to put it for now? Right here. I'll just uh, take it over here. So I found myself in tears Every day was filled with fear taking photos it was so much fun as you can tell in the clips there were a lot of different things going on with cash there cash was quite amped up but we got it done and then afterwards we went to a place called pizza stop in denton texas and it was so good i basically inhaled a whole pizza i was so hungry and now it's about 7 30 i want to take a kind of deep 
shower, but I actually think I'm gonna try to take a bath instead because I picked up some stuff from Lush that I'll show you guys, which I would say that I like to take baths probably once every other week or so, especially more in the fall and winter time. But I do need to wash my hair. My hair is a little bit greasy. And so I might soak in the bathtub for a little bit and then just rinse off my hair. I don't know, I really wanna use this bath bomb. I got this from Lush because I love the Snow Fairy scent at Lush. I just think it smells so good. It's really sweet, but also clean at the same time. And this is just such a magical bath bomb. So I think we're gonna use this. And then this is the Snow Fairy body conditioner. And this, I think you put on in the shower for about 10 minutes and then you rinse it off like you would hair conditioner but you just do it on your body and it smells amazing. It smells like candy, it's so, so good. And then for my hair, the only two things that I use are the Kristen S Extra Gentle Shampoo and Conditioner. I really like these because they're sulfate free and I just find that these make my hair really soft. So we're gonna take a nice deep shower. Always feels good and I'm very, very sleepy tonight. So let's do it. ended off this video last night because I watched a show with Aiden and then sacked out which was exactly what I needed and I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope it helped you feel just rejuvenated and I hope it just gave you guys some ideas to just take better care of yourself and to really prioritize rest whether that's spending time with people who fill you up cleaning your home having a little pamper routine in your shower whatever it is i definitely feel very energized on this monday when i'm recording this so really thankful for this weekend and thankful for you guys as always and i will catch you guys in my next video bye